minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's science-y. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion's This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! <laughs> now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of GRR Martin suspender. I'm totally right, right? Post up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't. Hey, buddy. How you been? Yeah, I actually just got... I'm just, uh... I just moisturized my latest tattoo that you gave me, buddy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. How many do we have so far? Let me count them. I think I have 11. I think I have 11 tattoos. What's that? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I wear extra large shirts so that nobody's ever gonna see them. What's that? No, especially not on camera. Who am I? Uh. Are there any other science guys with a bunch of tattoos? No, I guess not. I guess that kind of just further zadifies me, huh? Oh, zadification is the process of becoming a zaddy. What's that? Oh, it's an attractive older gentleman. Well, well, because it's like uh, it's like a zeification of of daddy. Oh, because uh, young people don't say daddy meaning father anymore. They mean it like guy, big guy gives you money. Yeah, no, no. I know it used to be called that, but now they call them daddies apparently. What's that? This isn't my tattoo artist. This is instead the head of typewriter maintenance for women in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Well, how did I even, how did I even get that number? Oh, uh, what? Okay, love you. Bye. Chat, welcome. It says I have an excellent, conne an excellent connection, but I'm dropping frames. I have no idea why. If I'm having a silky so smooth stream right now, let me know as I tell you, get in here. Chat, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing on this Saturday? Hope everyone's doing well. Coming off a return of office hours. It's nigh, it's nigh time to play some games, chat. Welcome, all my newbies. Let me... All my newbies, all my recent joiners, let me look at this giant monitor in front of me. Nova, welcome. Magnum Dong, perfect name for this game. Angel Fuji, Chaos, new member of the facility. Chaos, happy to have you here. Milady, Devils Never Cry. Hello, Justin. Industrial Arts and Crafts, Via the Heathen. G'day, Kyle, says Kiara Murphy. Hi, how you going? Serene Dusk, Fozzie Bear, Waka Waka into today's stream. Oh, right. Almost everybody is going to be a member today that joins in because last two streams or two streams ago, we had some incredibly, um, uh, an incredibly generous donations. Um, Nevermore, welcome. Chat, if you've never seen this game before, well, let me, let me back up. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, chat, hey, what up? I'm noted nuclear zaddy and award-winning science educator, Kyle Hill. I spend my days trying to explore, explain, educate, and entertain with everything underneath the sun and beyond. That's my day job here at La Facilidad. If you want to join us here, that's youtube.com at slash at Kyle Hill. 
You, we have a new Half-Life History series coming out probably tomorrow. So if you want to get in there, please do it. Um, if you also want to become a member of that channel, member of La Facilidad, join us. Bienvenido. Welcome. Patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Get videos early like all of my professors in the chat already have. But Chet, on the weekends, usually, what I like to do, aside from my day job, is game. In, in fact, it's I write off video game purchases now. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research. I've been playing through games, seeing how long they are, seeing how sciency they are. Why do you care about if they're sciency, Kyle? Because on Scientist Plays, our mission is to not just play games at a high level, because I'm amazing, but also to explain and educate as we do so. We just went all the way through Fallout 4. We just started Doom. And today, one of my favorite new games, Atomic Heart, has recently released new bizarre DLC that apparently in which quantum mechanics turns your wife into floating goo. So today our goal is to explain everything that's going on in this weird game. If you've never heard of this game, it is a Russian made game about a alternative future in the Soviet Union where they create cold fusion and then a polymer that allows people to connect that, that can store memories. It's kind of like a substrate. We'll get, we'll get to the science. But this polymer that allows for all of these sentient robots and different technologies, and of course, all those technologies go awry. And being able to hold on to your thoughts a, 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 apart from your brain, there's this place that they call limbo, which is like a place in between places. But we'll get to that. This is gonna be a full stream, says the Methanary. Um, I have no idea how long this DLC is. So we'll give it a good college try for our normal length of stream today. But I don't know if it's going to be shorter or longer. We'll see. Um, thank you again uh, to Captain Dagon in the chat for today's thumbnail. I happen to stare at these robots quite a lot. Eileen Kenny Breen, thank you with the five gifted memberships like she usually does or they usually do. Thank you so much, Eileen. Very generous. You're helping keep the, fixing those lights over there in the hallway. See? See how they're blinking on? I can't have that. Welcome, welcome. It helps because I have a big facility here. Chat, welcome to the gaming wing of La Facilidad. Here, I have gamer chairs that you can't sit in. They're spoken for. I also have two 75-inch monitors to see what you're saying what we're playing. Oh, mummies. Playing on our PS6 today. And of course, in front of our 227 inch curved OLED monitors split right down the middle, two separate images, not a continuous one, because I can combine images in my brain, much like a Jackson's chameleon. Dark Jester, thank you for the five. Woo. Such a generous bunch. I've been told that the facility has some of the nicest nerds this side of the internet. I'm sitting next to my wife who's playing Persona 3 Reloaded while watching Kyle on my phone. Priorities? Fozzy, um, Chompy in the chat is very interested in Persona 3. Would you recommend it? The power of nuclear stuff compels you to get entangled with this DLC, says Jared Shrekengast. Don't worry, we'll get to all the weird quantum mechanics stuff. As, as much as I can explain it. I'm not a quantum mechanics expert. In fact, I'm an expert in basically nothing. Except that when, when it comes to entertaining you science wise So chat, what we're playing today, of course, Atomic Heart. I have not played this on stream in a while. So as usual, we're prioritizing science times, but let me know about the volume in relation to my voice, if the stream stays silky smooth. Um, because this is a lot more, uh, a lot more of a load on the computer than some other games. Expert Thor cosplayer? I've never cosplayed as Thor. Joe Harrington, welcome. Orion oh, says you're amazing. <laughs> a random late night stream? I mean, we start around this time, my time. So chat. Um, I've, I've delayed too long, of course. 
Let's see if we can stay silky smooth here. Well, I say welcome to a scientist plays Atomic Heart Lost in Limbo DLC. Or something like that. Chat, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Of course, we're prioritizing science times as per usual. So let's reset those all the way back to zero. Bam. Let's get it going. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, nurse. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's already sounding loud. We'll see. We'll see. You let me know. I'm gonna minimize this. So this chat, this just came out like two or three days ago, on the sixth. So four days ago. Chat, of course. With the return of this game comes the return of my favorite looting mechanic in any game, glorping. Oh, I'm so excited to glorp chat. It's it's wild. You don't even have to pick things up. You just glorp them. You'll see what I mean. Kyle Brindley just became an official member. Shout out to all the Kyles out there ruling the world, says Kyle. Kyle, we should, um... So I've never, uh, we should establish a battle of Kyle's and see who wins. Um, yo, dude, I finna glorp. I finna glorp, dude. Now I sound like Post Malone. Um, I'm gonna start this DLC from the beginning on normal difficulty, unless it changed it for me. Um, and uh, I have not played this DLC at all. So uh, we will react to its story beats together. I have no idea. Other than the fact that I'm trapped in Limbo. Now chat, Limbo. This isn't really science time, but I made it anyway. Chat, Limbo is a concept in many different theological traditions of a space in the afterlife between heaven and hell. It's a way, it's a, it's a place where spirits go that they're, they're not sent to hell because they weren't saved, but they didn't get into heaven because they didn't personally accept, you know, some deity or something like that. The funny thing to me about this, about the concept of Limbo, is that it immediately had problems where people were like, what about babies who don't get baptized? And then churches all around the world for hundreds of years were like, oh, go, go, go. And so they had to, they, all this hand rigging, all these different proclamations and, and, and changing of theological ideas to say like, well, okay, maybe babies still go to heaven so that people weren't upset. And now the modern idea of, lim modern idea of limbo is that eh, it doesn't really exist. It's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> they, they created this idea of a place in between places. And then immediately people were, <laughs> people found the, the huge problem. <laughs> And then, then they backed up from it, which backing up from a theological idea and being like, eh, we kind of ignore that now is a funny concept to me. It's like when people think they can fool God, <laughs> you know, they're like there's a bunch of rules, for example, in, um, uh, in uh, Orthodox Judaism, where they try to get around the rules of God by, uh, for example, it's like there's one rule in the Torah somewhere where you're not supposed to leave your community and leave like your house and the house is near you. So what they do is they tie a thin string around a bunch of houses to make them all part of the same community. It's just, <laughs> look, excuse me, Mr. God, excuse, excuse me, Mr. Lord. I know that, uh, that you have this firm rule in place, but uh, string? And then God's like, Dang, you fooled me. <laughs> it's just, it's just weird. It's funny to me. Uh, anyway, chat, enough theology, more quantum mechanics. Do they go hand in hand? No. Ooh, why is that so slow? I love the, I love the, uh, I love the animations, the, um, what's the name of that game? Cuphead style animations for this.
Okay. Okay, that's... No, I, I, I hit... Yeah, let's... Yeah, okay. There we go. I haven't seen any of this before, chat, so we will try to make our way through it. Liquid Flames, welcome back. Never heard about that, and I live in Israel, so I don't think it's true. It's a Zerberus. I'm pretty sure it is. And, and I know they get around, uh, Orthodox Jews get around, like, using razors by making scissors go back and forth quickly. Like, you're not supposed to use, like, electrical appliances on the Sabbath or something like that for their beards, so they... They do a weird jerry rig with scissors, something like that. Okay, chat. Let's see what the heck is going on here. Ooh, I like that FOV. Ooh, it's kind of making me feel uh, fear of heights here. Chat, let me know if the game is too loud, because I'll have to change that. Oh, crispy critters. Damn it, he starts with it. I, if you, if you haven't seen uh, this game before, chat, the voice work is terrible, but we are going to push through. It's a little loud. I'll put it down just a little bit. Uh, and I can see in the distance that the love of my life, one of the ballerinas, is about to show up. Um, Liz Calvert with the 20. Tiny Human wants to know, what is your favorite YouTube channel? Slash TV show, oversimplified, and lots of video game playthroughs channels are his favorite. Um, also, can we see one of your cats? Uh, only if they show up. What's my favorite YouTube channel? Good question. Uh, I've watched pretty much everything Adam Savage does. Here she comes, Chet. I'm so excited. What is going on? <clears throat> Avenue of speed. All the same in life and science, physics all around. I like that. Jump higher, longer, stronger, find a proper starting ground. Wait, is this a full rhyme? All the same in life and science, physics all around. To jump higher, longer, stronger, find a proper starting ground. Next, stay calm and watch your angle. If it's calculated right, you'll soar up, not dangle. When you land, keep holding tight. And another tip to boot, virtues of good timing. You will see a nice speed boost, that's a silver lining. Make a good use of the inclines of the slides. You're riding double jump and loose the blinds. Save yourself from grinding now. What a weird game this is. Oh, well, we'll be fine, my love. We've handled worse. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm a big... Pull yourself together. You have to follow this path first. I'm a big furry... You need to stabilize yourself. The Voshod module doesn't help with that anymore, but that's all the better for us, right? Okay, okay, I'm a big furry monster, and this woman talking to me is made out of goo. Okay. Here we go. Magnum Dong says, release an album of that. What are you, crazy? What's, what's run? I mean, what's sprint? Okay, I can still, I still have my dodge. All right. Okay, so that didn't work very well. Oh, my body. Okay, so I can't jump while I'm on this. Don't worry, honey. Everything will be wonderful. Find somewhere a bit quieter. I'll explain everything then. Okay, it's going great so far, Chad. The other thing about this game is that uh, the soundtrack is always awesome. Wait, wait. Is the NFL music playing right now? <laughs> is this Sunday Night Football? What? <laughs> Is 
is this a remix of Monday Night Football? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so to enlighten you, Chad, the normal game, the normal game is, like I said, a physics-based, uh, a physics-based Soviet dystopia where they where they worked on fusion energy, cold fusion, which we talked about um, in a full video, couldn't resist, couldn't resist, couldn't exist. Um, but this limbo area in the game is this bizarre Candyland-like um, situation. And apparently I'm trapped in it for some reason, so I think this whole thing is going to be really weird. The enemies are going to be like giant candy canes and stuff. Um, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I, I, I truly have no idea what's going on. Okay, so you see AU up in the top corner. That's gold. AU is gold. So it looks like I'll be getting gold at some point. And it kind of looks like there's like a valence shell around it. So we'll see. It is Superb Owl Weekend. Well, I doubt they... There's no way they timed it for that, is there? Hi, Kyle from Iceland says Critical Mile. Welcome from the land hop over. Kyle, play Death Stranding. I will never play Death Stranding. When does the glorping begin soon? Your boy, John, don't get me started on Death Stranding. It is one of the worst AAA games I've ever played, ever. Let's not get into it. Let's continue this weirdness. Let's go, dude. Yeah, just vibing with whatever the hell this is. Thanks, Liz, for the 10. I'm guessing the developers saw only up at some point. Okay, so I can't jump. I keep trying to jump on this. What is going on? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's kind of delightful, isn't it? Okay, so I must be able to jump. What am I missing? Because it doesn't look like I can make that. Can I jump? Jump, 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 jump. Nope, okay. Oh, I know. It's physics-based. I, I gotta preserve some of these momentums. Or momenta. Let's see. Let's see if I, like, curve it. Oh! Too far. All right, let's try it again. I see what they're going for now. I have to, like, build up moment. Oh, see how I'm going faster now? Ah. Whoop! Damn it. Let's go this way. Da -da -da -da. You jump by angling up. I don't need any help. I'm enjoying myself. Oops. Oh! My momentum stayed. Do you have pause? Yeah, I'm a big furry guy right now. I'm just enjoying myself right now, Chip. What is this game? I like, you know, why I recommend this game to people is that this game takes chances, you know? Take some chances. That's what we call a skeuomorph, chat. A skeuomorph is a image that represents an action that is outdated, I believe. So this floppy disk is no longer actually what rep... Not, we don't save on floppy disks anymore, but it's still the universal symbol for saving. I believe that's a skeuomorph. skeuomorph. Um, there's other examples of that, like um, a lot of app logos on your phone. Big floppy desk i love this game already and i have absolutely no idea what it's about just says joe joe this is completely different than the main game and that's why i like it let's go weird nfl stuff Whee! oh there's a chomp no. yes yep oh i got caught candy land let us go don't chomp me. Oh, 
Get me back on there. Yep. Yep. See the little house up ahead? We can yep. talk there. The important thing is that you listen to me and everything will be okay. okay. I'm a pro here. Okay, I love you. So we're in limbo, both of us. And I really want to fix that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Soon your memories will start coming back and you'll fully acclimate to this world. Then okay, so what we're looking at there, right here on the screen, science time. Um, you can't actually see that, can you? What we're looking at on the screen right there, those are those are embryos. And so there's this concept. Well, uh, what's really interesting about evolution is what what's, is being depicted right there, that many embryos that look almost the same or identical can, can, as they develop, develop into many different kinds of animals. And in evolution, evolution and development, one of the great evidences for us all being connected through branching branches of evolution is the fact that the embryo for a pig, an elephant, a zebrafish, a human, they all start out looking roughly the same. It's only through development and through the activation of and, and expression of different genes that shape the body, et cetera, et cetera, that we become the full-fledged creatures that we are. But many animals share the same morphology at the embryo stage and it's super super interesting um the rep what, what what's the famous phrase chat any biologists in here it's uh not the replication of phylogeny it's the rion it's something you know the phrase chat dark jester with the five thank you so much i hate this game the platforming mechanics are impossible but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty good gamer. Repli replication of Phyla? Rion, what's the phrase, Chet? Find a way out together. You had a Voshod module installed into your head, remember? That yes. That contraption can plunge you into limbo, and it also blocked your memory. Oh. Oh. Yes, not any specific memories about me, though it blocks those too. It keeps you from remembering who you were before. Who the, the hell is that? Since Cheriton Radionovich no longer controls the boss hod, you'll get back to being yourself soon. And then you'll get out of limbo and help me, okay? Auntie Moita is a big fat Medusa. Chat, who Yeah, okay, let's get this. It's a Klondike bar, chat. What would you do for it? Okay, I need AU for all this other cool stuff. Excellent. This is all this her gold you AU. This would be extremely, extremely heavy. Uh, AU is one of the densest elements that there is, which is why it's good for shielding, but it's very expensive. Um, and it was gold and gold foils have been used for the identification of radioactive materials since the dawn of the discovery of radiation itself, science time. But I, I don't know what the exact density is, but a cube this size would be, gotta be almost like 100 pounds. During embryonic development, a human embryo does develop gill slits in the region of the neck. These pharyngeal slits develop into the bones of your inner ear and jaw, says liquid flames... Now that's interesting. That's a science time from Liquid Flames. I'm putting it up there. You'd assume my abnormally FPS skills in any FPS would immediately dominate in this game, but I ran into one of those coasters 50 times, says God with the 499. So gold is 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed, says JS or J Science in the chat, which is uh, even denser than my vial of mercury here. My vial of mercury is 14.3 grams per cubic centimeter. I think 14.3 and uh, this is absurdly dense which is why I like it it's it's like a it's like my fidget cube but <laughs> way more neurotoxic um so yeah so this would be an extremely whole uh, extremely heavy gold cube is evolution a fundamental law of the universe or of nature says Dova Bear um evolution is what makes biology make sense and if you have self-replicating molecules like DNA it seems like 
um, evolution through natural selection is how that molecule would propagate itself. Um, it's not necessarily a law of the universe like, um, you know, the charge of an electron is or something like that. Uh, Chad, why isn't anyone looking up my phrase? How did the tungsten cube feel on the Safety Third podcast? Insanely heavy. Ontology recap reca <laughs> Ontology recapitulates phylogeny. This is the foundation of recapitulation theory. It's a theory that posits that the development of individual organisms, ontogeny, ontogeny follows the same processes and phases of the evolution of larger ancestral groups of related organisms, phylogeny. Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. Thank you, nobody in chat. And we can start climbing toward the exit from there. Okay, I need that translated. Okay, or not. On. Whoa, whoa. So is that the atomic weight and the atomic number of gold, Einstein? Chat, side note, I just uh, DM'd the creators of this game on Instagram, and I said, hey, you ever think about having a science advisor? I want to be involved. Let me get involved. Hire me right now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This game is bonkers. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less. Bundle, bundle. Welcome to you as well. Let's go this way. You do already know some Russian. I was thinking about um, getting Duolingo, oh! Duolingo, Duolingo, or some other, you know, Rosetta Stone or what? Where am I going? Oh, I didn't see that. If only there was a haystack down there. That's got to be an Assassin's Creed reference. Um, whoop. Big jump here. I was thinking about learning Ukrainian, Chet. Yes! Yes! Gold, please. This is fun. A pro. A pro at the game. I'm so glad he can't speak. And yoink. I don't think I want to go this way. Do I? No. That's backwards. Oh, that was just for the gold, I think. Game is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this is fun. Someone was translating the poster for me, it says Rin Art or Reinart. The membrane is able to distinguish which substances are useful for the cell and which are harmful, as a strict controller only around allows useful substances into the cell. Okay. So you're talking about the membranes of cells allowing water, potassium, all that stuff, sodium. Whoop. Here we go. I can imagine hundred percenting this for the apples or whatever would be hard. I, I made it around there. Those arrows are genitalia. Yeah, everything about this game is horny. Yep. Those look like uh, everlasting gobstoppers. Probably intentional, huh? Yep. Penis towers. No. No. Chad, are we having a good time? Ten science times already. Are you enjoying this bonkers game? I think I am. Where am I going? Yep. Whoop. 
Whoop. Too far. Whoop. Chat, if you're enjoying yourself, peanut sour. I want you to spam your favorite emoji, especially if it's of me right now in the chat. Everything's going to play up. Uh, <laughs> of course, plutonium. I forgot who I was talking to. What? Spam those emojis. See, uh, my FPS skills are are satisfactory as well. Fascinating world, what? isn't he? Can beatbox too? Uh. I've been here three years already, and I still see new things all the time. <laughs> this looks like an electron cascade. If I had to guess. Science time. This would be a, a diagram of nuclear fission. Is that what it says? Who can read Russian? Is this an electron cascade? I can see that. Um, kind of how lightning works. Geiger Miller tubes, how they work. Or this could be diagram of fission, nuclear fission chain reaction. And the yeah, technically it's a dream. What happened to Atomic Heart? You're looking at it, baby. A flash of time frozen between life and sleep, or death. It's talking about cell division. Oh, okay. Mitosis and meiosis. In my case, limbo lives its own life, though everyone sees it in their own way. Whatever. <laughs> The Voshod has suppressed your memory so deeply. I'm amazed we're not appearing as two white paddles on a black background tossing a square back and forth. <laughs> it's so colorful, but- Petition for Kyle to beatbox Tommy the Cat. Only if you're good. Say, baby, do you want to down with me? Say, baby, do you want to down by my seat? Uh, Butterflies, cookies, and clouds shaped like turds. Fabulous. The soundtrack in this game is so good. Enemy time? You'll figure out what to do here quickly. Not easy peasy, but we have to defeat everyone. What is happening? Wait. <laughs> okay. See ya! What is going on? I have to throw these tiny little men into this thing. This is so bizarre. I love it. See you. Choose a weapon and keep going down. What is happening? Oh, so generous today. Give me that Kalishnikov, baby. It fires candy sprinkles. I'm all in. There's something I'm hearing in the background that's uh, slightly uh, different than... Uh, Get your kids out of the room. This game is horny. This platforming is very fun. Flurp <laughs> oh. it. Speed boost? Sure, let's try speed boost. Second wind. Ooh, good. That's my goo wife.
Ooh. What? What is this game? Who cares? It's fun. Remember when games used to be fun, Chad? Please find what remains of the robot twin and find the rings you had to throw away. We can use them to disappear from the collective site forever. Yes, ma'am. I'll find the mommies for you if you want. And I'm wearing a fursona suit, Chad. Of course, you got it right. I'm Blesnov, Katya Nicheeva. Katya Nicheeva. By the way, in case the falsehood wiped this out too, have no doubt, it's me, your wife. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm not just a piece of polymer. Dr. Sechenov calls this form teardrop. I'm officially the first recon officer in the unnatural world. <laughs> Your goo wife? You mean Juliana Margulies? <laughs> Frostbolt, that's so stupid. I love it. In general, I have a lot to be proud of. But the thing is, I really want to get out of this place. Katya Nicheva. Nicheva. Katya Nicheva. Okay, let's talk to the ugly woman again. Hello, big ugly lady. A fudge bar. Kyle, can you settle a debate for us? Did humans invent math or discover it? I would probably not give you a satisfactory answer because I'm not an expert and I'm bad at math. That's not true. I'm all right. Um, but I would say it's a combination of both, right? That there are aspects and laws and observations that you can make about the universe that fit within a, that can fit within a mathematical perspective. But in terms of what numbers are and what they mean and how they, how symbols relate to each other. Yeah, we invented all of that, but there seems to be an underlying fact about the universe that it can be categorized in those ways whatever symbols would that we use for them right so there's something about the universe that seems understandable in that way whether or not like i don't think the universe is inherently addition or subtraction or anything like that but oh yeah let's go baby did i come from there i did Hey look, now even my robot in the chat is telling you to like the stream. I want speed. Give me speed. Greased lightning. Hell yeah. The speed at which they're giving me weapons makes me think that this DLC is gonna be pretty short. But I don't care, I'm having fun. Oh! I want speed too. Says via the heathen, no you don't. Oh! Don't do, don't do drugs. Only do like cool drugs. Speed isn't like a cool drug, you know? Going fast now. Oh, we're going fast now. Going fast now. Hey. Come on now. Hey. I got it anyway. This game's getting me kind of amped up right now, chat. This is like, this is very fun. Chat, how's the sound in relation to my voice? Um, and uh, how's the stream? Is it silky smooth for you? 1440? Should be. Look at this place. Look how weird everything is. Oh, I guess I'm going up. Someone's about to get yeeted. Chat, what could that possibly be?
Who knows what that could be? Time for another cool ass song. Switch, please. Switch, please. Switch, please. Die, little gingerbread man. Switch weapons, please. Thank you. Yep. Yep. I'm a man. Do I have to eat them up into this thing? Yeah. Is there stuff in here? Yes, there is. I can glorp it. <laughs> what is going on? Come here. Looks like this nice guy has peaceful intentions. What is that? Look how cheery he is. Did we set him free? What? What? <laughs> what? What are you? <laughs> Don't feel sorry for the gingerbread men. Throw them at that demon spawn. <laughs> okay. Four. Beat these big boys. Yes, ma'am. This game is weird. Yeah. I'm missing a lot, but it's fun. Yeah. I gotta get closer. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Get get close to this guy. What is this? Whoa, hello. Yeah. Or not. Eat the baby. Get eaten. Yes! What is this guy? Look at that thing! This soundtrack is freaking awesome. Oh! Oh! What are you guys? Can I eat you guys? Nope. Honey, you simply have to win. Okay. Oh. That thing. Come on, stop dodging it. You know you want it. You know you want to get yeeted. I haven't seen anything like that before. What does he want? Oh. My health is going down real fast. Get eaten! You have no need to be friends. Oh no! I haven't seen anything like that before. What did he want from us? Reload my candy gun! Reload the candy gun! I'll try to negotiate with him. Yes, ne with the top. negotiate with the candy, please. I'm not looking at you because I'm having a grand old time right now. Oh, come on. Get eat it. I'll try to negotiate with him. Varlon Tabuta Chad, ow, ow. How fun is this game over? Bye bye. Don't die. Even me, and I've seen a lot. 
What is going on? I am on so many drugs right now. Are we good? Are you and I cool? I'm gonna guess no. Play this soundtrack at the end of streams? No, they will. They're gonna claim me for this stream. Just watch. Keep it going. Come on, goo wife. To me. Yeah. And now for some music that's completely different. Yeah. Big jump here. Big jump. Don't hit the chops. Oh, I guess it's fine. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I missed it. This one's hard. Oh, do you think the bar at the top is the progress through this DLC? That'd be kind of weird, huh? But it's kind of like only up in that way, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh, different way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this one's kind of hard. But Mr. Krabs. Hey, SpongeBob. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you're playing a, a whale of a game. No, that's just my daughter. Per First person fall, guys? Yeah. Oops. I'm reading chat. Is there any sort of defined objective here? Yeah, I'm supposed to escape this weird place with my goo wife. Who is made out of neuropolymer that holds her memories inside of goo. Slurp it up. You're bad at this? Uh, no I'm not. I'm not. Probably better at you at it than you are, Jared. Not too shabby. I tilt my head when it's on a when it's on a curve like this. I should play this game again. I gave up on it after about a half hour. Well, we can't all be as good goo sliders as me. Damn it. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Whee! I need more uh, Russian Soviet metal. That's what I want. Do you think Arya and Plankton's wife would be friends? Oh yeah, definitely. You know how they both kind of hate, you know, his wife kind of hates him and Arya kind of hates me. What? Why? Why did that happen? Whee! Why do I have an X? Yep. Let's go to the right. Yep. Mm, oh, I'm so bad at this, aren't I, Jared? Woo! <laughs> I make my own rules, baby. So is this going to show up on his stream? 
Striker, I have great news. You're, uh, you're, you're, in, you're in, you're watching the stream. Dun, 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 dun. Schrodinger Stockhausen. Okay, what, is, what does this mean? Okay. Can I, can, how do I play it? Oh, well. Space Jesus almost ate the cake. Yeah, do you see how cool, you see, see that little move? Chat, you like that little move? All right, I want to figure out how to read this because I like the music. Okay, that didn't work. How do I activate you? Okay, I've pressed almost every button. Okay, how about this? Oh. Limbo lives its own life and doesn't expect new arrivals. We're okay. just guests here, but more and more of us are finding ourselves in this place. See, until the Collective 2.0 uh. is launched, everyone who has contact with Dr. Sechenov's array can get here. Technically. Or have I already told you? Molotov, Stockhausen. Stockhausen. And now, with Charles's array mixing with Sechenov's Jelly Man, what? Those criminals from whom the first prototype of the array was created can be in limbo. What? Charles, as I said. As so long as he doesn't pull a mat pad and accidentally skip half the a fourth of the game. Kyle, did you play Voja yet? No, but I've made a Voja list. You can check it out on my Moxfield page. Look at this place. It's fun. Keep it going. I don't care where it goes. Whoop. Watch out for the penis towers. The Soviet Soldier, penis. You're doing great. No, I'm not. Oh. Here we go. Yep. Beware the Soviet phallic citadel. Whip. Uh. Let's go try the other set. Ow! Yeah, I'll just walk the rest of the way, it's fine. Not gonna have enough speed for this. I don't even mind dying because the movement is fun. There's no way to... Oh yeah, this song sounds like a banger, Chet. Oh yeah, come on. I hope this, uh, this song has some promise here. Yes. Whoop. Damn it! All right, uh, I'm gonna wait for a second. I'm gonna wait for a second, and then I'll go. How do you use the speed boost? I don't have a speed boost um, while I'm sliding. Oh wait, no, I do. Wait, do I? Oh, I do. I can, good idea. I didn't know that. Well, let me see. Oh yeah, I can, okay. Good, good to know. I can actually uh, use the dodge button for a little bit of a speed boost here. Yeah. Damn it! Three hours later, shut up. Yeah. Would you be, consider doing a video on the three body problem? I actually take one of the theories in the three body, pro in the three body problem, and it's gonna be in my next video about AI. I'm reading chat. All right, I'll focus. I'll focus. Let's do it. Even though, even though this music is pretty sick. Yep. I need to do a big jump on this, and then like boost up. Yep. Nailed it. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Jesus Lopez, welcome to Facility Gaming, baby. <laughs> 
Easy peasy, Chad. Clerp, 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 clerp. Clerp, clerp, clerp. Clerp for me. Clerp for me. Oh, oh, that takes apples each time. Oh, got it. It's okay, Striker Fett. No worries. Boss time. What you're struggling with is Limbo's natural reaction. This helps you survive. <laughs> and there's no reason to interfere, right? Technically, we're nearing the end of the path. That so was quick. Everything's going to plan. <laughs> that was supposed to be a boss fight. <laughs> you dumb dummy. Oh, you dumb dummy. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I went on the wrong side of the gingerbread chat. I'm gonna go off well path. Done, Sergey. Yes. I'm such a Chad. Hey, I made that. I'm gonna go up this way. Apples. Okay, so I need apples for upgrades. I thought they were free. Where am I going? Another section done, honey. Just a little Whoa, more. Whoa, I'm going upside down. Oh, come on! I want to do the loop de loop. Chad, how are we doing? If you're liking the stream, consider liking the stream. Subbing to the Bubby, which means subscribing to the channel. If I've earned it with my insane gaming prowess. Also, if you want to become a member of the facility like many you see right now in the chat, it's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Watch the newest Half-Life Histories, which is available to all members, all professors right now. Signal that you were. Oh, wait. I made that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh no, I didn't. I messed it up. I prefer. That was so. That was close, Chad. That was close to the. Oh no, I did make it. Right. Yeah. Chat, I want to plan a heist to this music. I want to steal from that actor's name in Ocean's Eleven. That's that's a hard jump right there. Yes. This is fun. I'm having fun. Remember when games were fun? Oh, too far. Maybe. Going left! Damn it! And so, you see that he at the casino will have no idea that we just walked out with $115 million of, um... That guy's money! Andy Garcia, that's his name. Oh, the gingerbread's telling me where to go. Yeah. Shut up. Oop, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna eat myself at the second to last one. Well, you see, they'll never see us coming if they already think that the security cameras are recording the bank rally in progress. But in reality, the Baraggio logo, logo would have been installed two weeks after this, so they could find out that perhaps Brad Pitt was stealing some sort of amount of money from a casino, but then he won't because he wants to find out how someone hacked into his system. I have seen Ocean's Eleven more times than many people have seen many things. Oh, a big one. 
Oh, yeah. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. What? Hey, I had that. You bounced me off. I had that one. You saw that. Was that one of my China movies? Absolutely. All right, go do it again so I can... Okay, this is fine. Now I'm... Now it's Hacker Man music. Oh, that was too far. Shit. Oh, that was too far as well. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip. <laughs> Sequence break. <laughs> you dumb idiots. Woo. Yes. No one tells me how to glorp. Uh, Alpha, our bodies have been found, my love. Okay. No! But I broke the sequence! Let's try it again. See if I can skip a bunch of crap. And... Oh, nope, that didn't work. Chad, there'd probably be a... This would probably be a very fun um, DLC to speedrun. Oh, the sequence is up there. Okay. What? This would be very fun to speedrun, I think. There's probably a lot of weird stuff you can do. All right, skip all of that crap. Damn it. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. New Mirror's Edge looks pretty trippy. I know, right? Okay, so if I look straight down, I basically go straight down. So the, the momentum is very directional, which makes sense because momentum, the two aspects, damn it, the two aspects of momentum, science time, are uh, velocity and mass. And as we all know, velocity is more than speed. Velocity is a vector, meaning that it has direction. So because mass times velocity is momentum, that means momentum inherently has a direction as well. Sequence break. Yeah. <laughs> no one can tell me how to go up. I just skipped that whole middle section. Woo! That whole section right there. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Glorping it up in Glorp Town. Yeah. Give me your apples. Are you hungry for apples? Damn it! I keep I keep messing that one up. What's your vector, Victor? Apparently vectors are a bitch to calculate, says Dova Bear. No, not necessarily. It depends on what dimensionality, dimensionality you're in. If you're in three dimensions, yeah, stuff gets pretty hard pretty quick. But one-dimensional vectors are kind of what you learn. One and two-dimensional vectors is what you learn in like physics one and physics two. Sequence break! I think I went the wrong way. I think I'm going backwards now. Oh, sequence break! Please! Help me break the sequence. Oh, I'm going backwards. Now let's go forwards. And then let's go back. And, oh. <laughs> Yetus, you're welcome for the gifted membership. It wasn't me, but it was some of our very generous members of La Facilidad. I could probably finish this section if I didn't keep trying to break the sequence, but also, this DLC might be really short. And we've only been playing for an hour, so let's see what's going. Let's see what's going. Ah! <laughs> well, obviously SpongeBob, it's up to M for Mini. You have to set it to W for Wombo. He, she. We, Wumbo, Wombology, the study of Wumbo. It's first grade stuff, SpongeBob. All right, I have to remember on this upcoming one, I gotta, I gotta heat myself better. Like right here, I gotta, I gotta do a nice little yeet. Yeah. Whee! Liz Calvert, another gaming membership. Thank you so much, Liz. You're very generous. As always, in every single one of our streams. <laughs> Die! 
die, vagina cube! Oh wait, that one got bigger for a second. What would the structural stability of a gingerbread house be? Eh, well. Here's a report from the real world. Soldiers went into the office. Some from Argento, Krypton and Radon. Those two are always together. I thought they were stationed all- Argentum, I don't know what that is, but it's a kind of armor in Magic the Gathering. Uh, Krypton and what? Around the world. Krypton and Krypton and Radon are radioactive gases, science time. Krypton can be ra a radioactive gas released, uh, well, it can be a radioactive material generated from um, the fission of uranium um, in normal processes in nuclear reactors, and then it can be released during a meltdown as uh, Krypton gas. Krypton 90? And radon is a gas that uh, can build up after the decay of uranium, natural uranium ore, in the ground. And there's a lot of uranium ore in the ground, which is why radon gas can build up underground and in the basements of your house. That's why you have radon detectors. Uh, JS or J Science gifting one Membi. Thank you, buddy. Who's giving them orders when the collective hasn't launched? Have I already told you how time moves here? No. Well, the collective hasn't been launched yet. Technically, neither has the Atomic Heart Project. Okay, so this is a... Pr I'm back in time at the moment, I guess. So we have time to get out of here. Time for you to move. So... Sergey, are we a good team? We really need to find the exit. So right now, this is actually happening before the main game? Okay. Daniel Benton gifting a gamey membership. Thank you, Daniel. Like I always say, you don't have to support the facility, but when you do, it's greatly appreciated. When it comes to matter, the polymer is king. Yes, In back to NFL music. Hands, it can do oh, I didn't have to do that. Yes, NFL music, let's go. Dark Jester, thank you. Another one. Everyone's being very generous today. MC Lawrence says this actually starts from one of the endings. Yeah, I think I knew that. But it said that the Atomic Heart Project hadn't been launched yet. Lost time. Enter the bubbles. Huh? Yes. Do I have to stay inside Just the bubbles? doing what you're doing. I have faith in you, my love. Yes, cool music. Wait. Oh, I see. I see. I see what's going on, chat. Ow. Oh, I forgot I have the shield. Gotta remember that. This game is so weird. Yeah, go that way. So I can just build this up, dummy. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's that's fine. Stay there. Dummies. Nice AI. <laughs> nice AI. Oh, now it moves. Interesting. Shotgun is bad. 
These lovely things are a projection of your ego. It's like if someone was rude to you and you said nothing, but then you're up half the night thinking about how you should have responded. Your ego's fighting against you and your sense of universal injustice. Technically, you're fighting with yourself. Oh, okay. Useful maximalism. Oh. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. Mm, actually, actually, lady, useful maximal. Oh. And as well, uh, whatever. Let us yeet ourselves to the Still next not clear? area. I don't think it's too important right now. Yeet. Uh oh, too far. Go down. Nice move. Thank you. Thank you, goo wife. Oh, big headed enemies, ego jokes. Smart chat. I'm so glad I cannot hear the male voice actor. Holy crap, is he bad. Well, he's probably not bad, it's just that writing in this game is terrible. It's honestly the worst part of the main game. Keep going, you're on track. Big Yeet coming up. Yes! You've covered a lot of ground, Pioneer Nichayos. Excuse me. Can we get an Aussie accent before the stream ends? Says Amped Vance with the $50 donation. Thank you, Amped, once again. One of our most generous patrons from the last couple of streams. Thanks for being here, buddy. What is it at, Chompy? You let me know when we hit that incentive if we hit it. Dun, 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 dun. Where do I go now? Mm -hmm. The dialogue is why I stopped playing. Switch it to Russian with subtitles. Um, that is science time. That is, so those are, that's a cell wall and you have the hydrophobic heads on the outside and the hydrophilic tails pointing towards the inside. That would be a cell membrane. What's going through the cell membrane I see in the center, science time, is something transcribing DNA, which you see at the top, the double helix of DNA, splitting it into single strands and reading the ACTG sequence of that single strand or an RNA strand. Hmm. And then this is sequencing that DNA, I believe, right there. Die, Vagina Cube. See, this is the only game where you can say words like that. Okay, where am I going? Helium-3, so that's a Helium-3 symbol. And so, chat, that's helium with extra neutrons. And why helium-3 is a thing is because it's an alternative fusion fuel that doesn't release neutrons from the process. Neutrons during uh, deuterium and tritium fission get flung off in the process of fusion, and that's what heats up the walls of a reactor. That's what you can use to generate steam and therefore electricity. But neutrons also activate materials, they can make those materials radioactive by stuffing their nuclei with extra neutrons, making them too big and too unstable, and they become radioactive, um, therefore making the whole apparatus of that kind of fusion reactor intensely radioactive in just a short amount of time, like a couple of years, like two years. Um, so helium-3, while it doesn't release as much energy, it doesn't have the same neutron activation problem. Science, are you kidding me? You kidding? How much, Chet? How lucky are we that we get to do this together? Give me that gold coin. You think I don't see that gold coin? You think I don't see that gold coin? I do. 
Go in the bubbles? Alpha, you did it! <laughs> <coughs> Damn it! Crispy critters! He's back. So the game is not an hour long. Got it. Two things. I remember everything, and I'm not your love. Crispy crit. What? Let's admit that we're both monsters created in facility 3826 labs. Oh, are these all? Oh, chat. Oh, no. This game is way we need bigger. Each other, but chat, look at this. No this is, these are all different levels with different slides. Us for One, three see, years. I have the apples here, and so I got I'm those sorry, coins. Honey. Then there's number two. Why shouldn't you? The goose might be back? The angry goose might be back? You stay here a bit longer to help you remember everything? There's another, there's a climbing I section. I think this is going to be like a... Chad, are you still there? Why aren't you chatting? What's going on? I think this might be a platforming, like, only up situation, and then there's another one. But we're one. going up. To get out of limbo, But we're going right? up, yeah, yeah. Right? Look at this guy, look at him go. Look at him go. Chat, where, where'd you go? Are you not? What's going on? Oh, it, it just started moving. Sorry. I shall contribute to the authentication. Thank you for the two. There we go. Sorry, you disappeared. Uh, my chat stopped moving. All right, chat. Second level. Look at that fluffy kitty. How do I write messages? Uh, you just add them to the. After you choose the you money. Can come back whenever you want to. Wait, oh. did I? You'll find a way. Use my beacon. So did I do this one already or no? Steve the Beave with the 129 SEK. What would be the LCOC for Fusion be if you got to rebuild the reactor every two years? I don't know what that acronym is off the top of my head. Ozification engaged, says amped with a 10. That means for the next 30 minutes, I am an Australian person. There's only 11 likes on the video. Refresh. Because I'm now refreshed, chat. Here we go. We're gonna engage our parkour skills. Dude, parkour. Parkour is a hard word to say. There we go. Left, right, left, right, up, down. Get the apples. Avoid the giant wings. They're shards of someone else's memory. Here we go. You won't understand how it works. I think I understand just fine. I think there's Chet, I think this this DLC is a lot bigger bigger than I expected. I think there's two more sliding levels and then two more climbing levels. So that means we get to play this game on stream again. Oh, look at that. Oh, down. Damn it. That, one, that one's going to be bad. Have you ever tried any sort of parkour? Uh, no. Um, I'm a rock climber. Uh, I mostly do bouldering. I've been a boulderer for 15 years um, but recently I've been injured quite a bit with my fingers and such ah! chat this might chat this might be a hard one shorter jump earlier says the angle of my dangle angle dangle why don't you just hey why don't you just let me get on why don't you just let me crack on with it mate I'll get it I'll get it mate Sequence break. Or not. What's the difference between bouldering and rock climbing, says Chris? Uh, bouldering is climbing without a rope on freestanding boulders. Um, or that it was made uh, just climbing, getting to the top of freestanding boulders without a rope. Uh, all you have is your shoes and a chalk bag. So typically boulders are much shorter than like, you know, up to like 15, 20 feet and they can get a lot higher than that, and they're called high balls. Then they're called high balls, but um, they're dangerous then. Rock climbing subsumes both categories of bouldering, and the other thing is top rope or lead climbing. 
top rope climbing involves having the rope looped over some anchor point at the very top, while lead climbing, you have to insert your own anchors as you go along. Um, or you clip into anchors that are already there with your, what are called quick draws. Then there's another kind of rope climbing called trad, or traditional climbing, and that traditional climbing involves placing your own anchors inside of the rock as you go. Um, and it's super dangerous and I, and I don't like it. Big jump! Yes! Sounds pedestrian, yes. Oh. but I'm waiting for you. That I was, thought you might get lost. That was, clo that was close. Where did you come from? Yeah, this DLC is very fall, guys. Chat, I need any Australian members of the chat to rate my accent right now out of 10. Uh. Rate it out of 10. I want an out of 10 rating. So you don't do it because you're scared? Says Nova in the chat. Uh, spoken like a, a true person who was gifted a membership, Nova. Um, but yeah, traditional climbing is fucking terrifying. I'm scared because I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm also scared of heights, but I'm a I'm a pretty damn good rock climber. I was near, I was almost professionally strong before I um, hit my fingers, the tendons in my fingers. I was like professionally strong. Um, so don't talk to me about being scared. But traditional climbing, it just... A lot of things can go wrong and I don't want to die. A need... A senseless death. Go! I don't know how to get past that part. What do you think of free soloing? Like Anna, like Alex Honnold. Um, free soloing is insane. Um... I, I understand why he likes free soloing. Um, because you have to be literally perfect or else you die. Just having a quick orgasm in the chat. Um, you have to be literally perfect or else you die. Um, so I, I, I get the feeling that could come with absolute mastery of rock climbing. Um, but because only one thing would have to go wrong and you die, it's not worth it. Like, things you don't even control, right? So, that was stupid. Like, um, just a hold could break. Or your, your, sh your, your foot could slip, and that's it, and then you die. Like, what's the point of that? Again, I, I understand in, in Free Solo, in the movie, he, um, he talks about the feeling of perfection, and, and it is a unique thing to feel that you are absolutely Damn it! Perfect at something. I get that. I do. But I also wouldn't risk my life for that feeling. When I can get it from sweet drugs. You know? Just... Oh, there's a thing up there! Oh, there's a thing up there! I don't even have to hit the penis spots. Chet. Nobody gave me... Nobody gave me a rating. This one's hard. Go up here. Whoop. Whoop. Yes. Go. The gingerbread house is hard. I don't know how to get past that part. Hit. Shit. Ah, damn it. Damn it. I should look around and see if there's any other things. Arlene gave you a 10 out of 10. Well, yeah, she's biased. She loves me. Hit. Perhaps too far? Yeah. All right. Chat, this is slightly harder than it looks. <laughs> Hit. Go around the outside, much like a trailer park girl. Shit. No! Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Dover Bear. No, bouldering is, is... Bouldering is the safest form of rock climbing. Um, at a certain level. I mean, 
high levels of bouldering, you can get injured very easily. But if you're just beginning, bouldering is the bouldering is the safest form of climbing, in my opinion. If you're just doing basic stuff, eh? No, it's probably eh. I'm probably wrong about that. I mean, top rope climbing is is probably the safest form of climbing. I'm wrong, Chet. I'm man enough to tell you when I'm wrong. Oh, I hit the big penis. Everyone, what game is this? This is the new DLC for Atomic Heart. Have you tried getting good? Says Nova in the chat, who was given a free membership so that they can talk ish to me. And no, I haven't even thought about getting good, Nova, you dingus. You absolute dickhead. I'm just trying to think of Australian slang words. I don't know any. Even though I am myself personally from Melbourne, um, I don't know a lot of slang. Because my parents were born in um, Auckland, New Zealand, which is why I kind of have like a bit of a funny accent. Um, but I was raised here in America, or there in America, wherever I happen to exist, which is why I don't really know any slang words. Whoop. And it's not because I'm an American try to passing, try to pass myself off as Australian somewhere. Whee! Okay, so go down, go up, and then down like this, and then like this. Damn it! Don't increase it. No, uh, amped. Don't, don't donate to increase the difficulty right now, because I don't think this part can get harder. I guess the, the um. The combat could, but I thought this was going to be more traditional from what the main game is, and it definitely isn't. And the main game has an Armageddon difficulty, which I actually could not get through. Okay, Chad, how do I do this part? Can you kill your own momentum? Good idea. Let's see. Can I dash backwards? Okay, that didn't really work, but I'm going to look down now. I'm gonna look like wait straight down and then wait and then our okay, gas bars. The other levels are optional. You can just go to the climbing levels to progress the DLC. Alright. We'll try this. We'll get through this one. We'll try this a couple more times. We'll chat, actually. Chat. Do you wanna see me try to beat this sliding level? Or go right to the next uh, climbing section of the game and progress the DLC? Let me know. Um, one for continue this, two for going on to the climbing part. One for slide, two for climb. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go rip like that, and then we're gonna go straight down, and then we're gonna go up. Damn it! Uh, that's not what I was hoping for. Me either. Can't you set up a pole? Yeah, I can, but I'm busy, man. Give me a second. Damn. What? I'll put the word what? Slot. Climb. There you go. Oh, you're complaining in the chat. Here you go. <laughs> we can defeat this chat. We're just not thinking about it. Let's think about it. Okay, so I can't stop my slide by pulling backwards like you can in Super Mario. Can't do that. Maybe I can sequence break the whole damn thing. Penis! Ooh, I do have a, quite a bit of aerial mobility that way. Let's try to break this a second. Where am I going? Over there, all right. Okay, so I can skip that sequence. And then, whoa! Damn. How much can we break? Let's see. Because I'm getting annoyed a little bit. Let's go. Let's go, Chet. Avoid the big wiener. Here we go. Here we go here. And then I'm going to try to skip up there. No, not there. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, maybe here? Like... Shit! 
Damn it! Oh, that one was close. That one was close, shit. Have you tried doubling back in midair? No. I think I can. Let's see. I'll try it for you. Can I go backwards? Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Like, jump up and then come back down and try it again on the same slide. I got it. I got it, shit. These guys look like little Jake the dog from Finn and Jake. Avoid the wiener! Avoid him! Oh! No, I'm scratching my face! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, that was a small one. Hi. And uppity up. And down. And then down and around. And then this way. And then that way. And then around. And then... Sorry. I know what to do. I know Mythbusters covered it, but how far can a human fall and still live? Science time. So what you're talking about, really, is terminal velocity in relation to the durability of the human body. That was some good Australian right there, eh? Um, so the, the terminal velocity of um, a human being in roughly, you know, like, falling down in, like, skydiver position is about 125 miles an hour. And at that speed, when you hit the ground, the G-forces are just going to be too great. I know what to do now, Chet. Watch this. Damn it! Um... So... I think the... I mean, we could calculate this, and I don't, but I don't want to. I think you have to fall about 400 feet before you reach terminal velocity. Any height above that, you're going to be going fast enough to die. Now it's terminal. I feel no pain. Me either. It's terminal in that not because you'll die, but because that's when the drag force equals out with the force of gravity, and you stop accelerating. Your, your acceleration terminates, and you just have some final velocity, a uh, terminal velocity. Um, you're going to be one going a lot, a lot, a lot slower than terminal velocity. In fact, chat, what do you think the average height is at which a human will die from a fall? Chat, what is the height that an average person will fall from and die? What is happening? Sixty feet, twenty feet, three feet, fifty feet, eight feet, three and a half stories. I'll tell you this: most of you are going way too high. The average height from which a human can fall and die is eighteen feet, a six meters, about two stories. That's it. I will say this though: if that sounds science time. If that sounds like it's not very high, it's because the way that you fall matters. If you fall feet first, your chances of living are significantly greater. But if you're falling head first and your head hits the ground first, significantly higher chances of dying. Um, so that's why even people jumping to the death, they don't have to jump from very high because they're jumping head first a lot of the time. Because if you're hitting leg first, that absorbs a lot of the impact. Wait, what's down there? Wait, what's down there, Chet? Screw this one! Um, science time. So if you land on your legs first, it increases the amount of time over which you come to a stop. And we know that force equals m times a, which is Newton's oh, second law, one of the most famous equations in all of science. Um, but a can be extended out to be change in momentum over time. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. Change in momentum over time. So, um, 
if you increase the amount of time it's in the do uh, denominator, that means necessarily that that number is going to get smaller and smaller. So if the amount of time over which you come to a stop increases, the force on your body is going to decrease. So having your legs crunch underneath you and break actually extends the amount of time over which you come to a stop, which is why it's much safer to land on your feet from a fall than it is to land directly on your head. This this one sucks. How do I how do I get around this shit? I don't know. Ah, oh, I'm so close. Chat, I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed in Australian, which is even worse. Oh, is it 450 meters and not feet? Did I mix up terminal velocity height with meters and feet? Hmm. It's possible. I, did, I don't know very many things. How do I do this stupid one? <laughs> Go! Move! Ah, oh, you little dick! <laughs> Chat, I don't- I can't see how I'm getting around this one. What am I doing wrong? Come on now. What am I doing wrong, Chet? Posture, gamer, posture engaged. What am I doing wrong? Oop, nope. Okay, slow it down, I guess. And then go up and around that. But then, like, here? And then, like, here, and then... Don't look at my tattoo. Chat, how am I getting around this? I'm getting annoyed. This must be boring for you. Is this boring for you? I can switch it up. But I want to get this stupid thing. Avoid the wiener. Good advice for anybody. Always avoid wieners where you can. They lead to nothing but trouble. And go ahead and quote me on that. Pile Hill 2024. Uh, oh. Yes! I discovered the solution! Here we go. Don't fall now. Don't fall now. Hit this way. And then this way. Yes, yes, yes. I've always been nearby. There's no shame in quitting. Screw you, Wesley, and the and the horse you rode in on. I didn't come here to have spiders, mate. Woo! Give me an upgrade. I'm gonna have to. Sw oh, I don't have to switch to that. So is this to leave? <laughs> I don't need to leave. I'm not. I ain't no quitter. Wait, I ain't no quitter. Like, who's a quitter? Who's a quitter in the chat? Who was you? What were you? Wesley, as you wish, Wesley. Hey. Eh? Was that a Vouch reference? No, that's an Australian slang. Chris, crispy quitters. <laughs> Kyle, look at the progress bar. I know. I could do it. You think I can't do it? I'll do it right now. Uh oh, avoid the wings. Avoid the giant pains, Chet. 
The giant nipples from the game Sorry. It looks like those things from the game Sorry. Sugan Spring. You uh -oh. may say, how on earth? Zaharov's dead. <laughs> but did he put a module in my stupid head? Damn it. I quit smoking 15 years ago, so I guess I'ma quit it. Yeah, but that's a good that's a good kind of quit it. Smoking is the number one most detrimental thing that you can recreationally do for your health that is legal. You know why you're going into like a doctor's office and like the second thing that they ask you doing a physical is, do you smoke? It's because if you smoke, it leads to so many other health problems. Oh! I'm a little apple boy. Whoop. Look at me go. Look at me go, Chet. Oh, shit. Smoke weans, not cigs. So Steph in the chat, you sound like you like to party. What about huffing gasoline? I mean, I guess that's legal, but it's not really like a, a recreational thing that a lot of people do, is it? Like, do you like huff gasoline in your spare time? Don't, don't, um, don't, don't do that. Oh, my body! Whose accent is that? I'm so confused. It's clearly an Australian accent. God damn it. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, secret break. I need the speed here. Whoop. Get out of my way, giant candy ring. Damn it. Feel. Live. Yeah, this is gonna take me a lot longer than I thought. You tell him, mate. Liz, are you Australian? I forget. You're not, are you? Five Star Games, welcome. Sequence break. Break the sequence. It's not working. Wait. How breaky can I get here? Break it this way! Calm down, lady. Calm down, lady. Jeez. I live life a quarter mile at a time. It's all about family. Hit! Damn you, candy bastard! <clears throat> Honey is again in the chat from our previous Atomic Heart playthroughs. I know they enjoyed this game because their avatar. I think I might be done with Australian for now, Chet. Because so many of you didn't lock it. Whee! Why was that woman making copulatory vocalizations? I don't know. Because this game's horny. Woo! I don't need no slave states, here we go. Woo! I wonder if these other slide areas have bosses as well. Get out of the way, Jake the Dogfish. Oh, go down. Where am I going? Oh, I should have gone around. Oh, that's... That didn't work. Chad, how are you enjoying yourselves? If you're enjoying yourselves, if you've learned something from... T I don't have to do that anymore. If you learned something from today's chat... I'm back! If you learned something from today's chat, if you're enjoying yourself, if you're enjoying great and accurate accents, spam your favorite emoji in the chat. Preferably if you're a member, spam something. Maybe Aria's bicep. I added an Aria's bicep. Damn it! I added an Aria's bicep flex emoji. Why don't you get those guns out, chat, huh? 
Oh, yeah. oh, look. She's she's huge. Look how beefy she is, Chad. No joke, I think her arms are the same size as my arms. And I'm not small. She's just made of all beef. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me. Whoop. There are no answers here, Sergey. Only meaningless questions. No one is going to answer them, and no one to ask them either. Hey, I hit that. I hit that? that. That was that was bull crap. No one noticed. Yeah, no one. Chat didn't notice. I need an Aria in my life. Well, just be cool like me. Just be smart and handsome. Easy. Just do that. Look, the, the reason Arya likes me in the first place is that I can afford to give her a lifestyle that doesn't include just eating Oreos and wine for every meal. I think I'm going backwards. Gotta go backwards and go forward sometimes. Woo! Here we go. Where, where am I going? That was for a gold coin. Got it. Man, getting all the gold coins and other stuff in this would be... Whew. That's not the main reason. Don't be silly. No, it is. Chumpy. Arya doesn't even like me. Come on, I made that! I have enough momentum to throw myself through there! What was that? No one noticed. Chat didn't notice. Anyone who's a member, anyone who's a professor in the Facilidad, uh, what do you think of the new Half-Life Histories today? It wasn't one of our expedition series, so I hope you still enjoyed it. It was a, I think you, it was cool in that I don't think it's something that most people have ever heard of. Alright, I really have to yeet myself out of this, off this, this third one? Yeah. No! No, that's not fair! That was bullcrap. I think the rainbows go to space, Jesus. I think the rainbows do lead to space. I can go with a different song now. That'd be fine. I loved it. Can't wait to show the adult family tomorrow. Whoop. I think it's Facultad. Is it? I think Half-Life History is a little too grown up for Tiny Human Alex. Yeah, we do show some irradiated body parts falling apart, so that's probably not great to show an eight-year-old or ten-year-old. Unless you warn them. Yes, members get it early. It's out right now on page on Patreon. And eat myself into space. Ah. No, it's not factory, it's facility. Oh, chat. I'm gonna make it. If you're stuck with me this far, you know I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna build up some nice speed here. I should go on the other one, yeah. I should go on the other one here, and then speed it up and speed, damn it! We haven't even taken a break yet. Do give up, says Wilson. Okay. You don't have to boss me. Damn. Hit. I want this one. And then I want to go this way. Yes. 
And then I want to go here, and then I want to go here, and then I want to go there. Damn it! Yes! And then I want to go here. Come on! Uh, wait, wait, wait! That's there! <laughs> I thought I was dead for sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Hit. 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 Oh, they robbed me. It's right there. The end's right there. Ah. That was bull crap. That was excrement from an equine. Yeah, screw, screw you guys. <laughs> Whip. <laughs> Monday night football. You can sequence break. Can you sequence break it? I don't know. I have to see where it is. Which, where is it? I think it's like way up. It's up there. All right, here we go. Speed! Speed power! Isn't insanity trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? I'm doing something different slightly each time. You, you just can't tell. My gamer prowess. All right, I want to be over here for this. Go over here for this. And then, yeah, da, da, da. yes. And then go down, and then slide again, Whoop. and slide again. Whoop. Off the side, bam. Right off, right here, 75%, 75%. And then we're gonna throw a nice little hundy on that one. There we go. I can throw a nice little hundy percent on that one. We're gonna go here. We're gonna slide this way. We're gonna miss that one. Shit. Pretty good. Pretty good at this. Yeah, I know I was wrong about that, Chris. It just, I love alliteration. Alright, I got this. I got this now. I got this now. Hit! Why they use an NFL remix is absolutely beyond, oh no, is absolutely beyond me. Yes. Save it. Saved. Hit. Uh oh, uh oh. I gotta maintain that momentum. I gotta. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing oozes sexual tension like NFL football. That's very true. You're right, I understand it now. I should stay to the right every single time here and then fling myself, do a nice little yeet. Yeet. I, so, how this is working is I do actually have to look in a in a direction to like point myself, point my momentum there. Oh, it sucks! Ah, oh, damn it! All right. Okay. Let's lock. Let's lock it in. Let's get gamer mode going here. Let's lock in a little gamer mode here. Let's lock in some gamer mode. Here. Why don't we just lock in some gamer mode? Here? I'm only a third of the way done with this stupid level. Here we go. Gamer mode. Gamer mode activated. Activated.
Gamer Mode activated. I'm fine, Chad. I just had to excrete. Oh! I feel like I'm much closer to my monitor right now. Am I? Nice and easy. All, see, the problem was I had to excrete. Now we're good. Now we're fine. Now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. Not even cruising for a bruising. We're just straight up cruising. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. What's so cool? My transitions? Yeah. Pretty professional over here. Okay. Hit. You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Damn it. Damn it. Here we go. Chad, I'm only gonna try this a couple more times, then we're gonna try the, one of the climbing levels, which are gonna be a lot less fun, <laughs> I think. I just wanna get through this stupid section. Aim above the cakes. I know what, no, I know what I'm doing. Biscuit eating bulldog. Yeah, where is that from? That's from something, right? Yeah, that's a reference from something. I forget what now. Hey, what if I break it? What if I go like this? What if I do that? I can 100% do that. Screw that cake part. Let's do it. There's a downward path? No, there's not. That downward path was to the gold coin, wasn't it? Orbits? Was it an Orbits commercial? You lint liquor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> Remember Orbits gum? It even has the slowdown mechanic, like, only up like that. never cry with the 10 it says thank you kind sir for getting me back into science all hail science it's very kind of you affirming the entire reason why i exist thank you devils never cry appreciate you i'm proud and honored and also humbled to be a part of your educational journey truly really and truly God, this one took me so long. It's this fumble, fundle bundle. Yeah, this one sucks. Just, just, just play it easy. Just play it easy. 
Just play it easy. Play it cool, you know. Just play it cool. Fudge you, man! Ugh! I'm not keeping enough momentum. Okay, I'm gonna try it, like, two more times. Okay, two more times. Is enough. Hey, Kyle, when is your new science video going to be on YouTube? Not uh, tomorrow. Sometime. Don't know when. What happened? What just happened? Kyle, if you beat it, I'll sign up for a free course at my community college, says Mark. Uh, <laughs> we'll get that digital pen ready, Mark. Because I'm clearly super good at this game. Wait, does the other way actually lead to some other pathway? Because I thought it was just... Yeah, it just leads to the gold coin over there. Alright. I'm gonna try to break it. Because I can, I'm not even, well I've gotten kind of close, but I'm not getting close on those cakes at all. I didn't do it right. Oh no, I'm not gonna be going fast enough. Damn you! Or am I? Ah, I hate this game! Okay, two more trusts. Ah. Da ba da ba da ba da da ba da. Two more tries. One more try. Two more tries. This is giving me only up feelings of rage inducingness. Except I don't have to start all over every time. Whew. That's what truly made that game oppressive. But like I said, like a speed run of this DLC would probably be super fun. Just like perfecting this movement. Watch this. Yeah. No, that's not fair. I hit it. I broke it. That's not fair. You saw there were stairs there. That that was a that was a traversable area. Yes, more NFL. Let's do it. I'm gonna try it again. I think if I just go higher, I can get that. What, what, why, what, 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 who, what, who, what? Damn this game. Oh wait, do I? Oh. Oh, what? If I look up, I if I look directly up, I automatically jump. to look like straight up uh oh chat I may have just changed the game none none of this has been told to me by the way oh
Getting some momentum now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this, Chet. Watch this. That's not fair. I landed on it. I landed on it. I landed on it, Chet. I landed on it. I landed on the section. It is the right place. You just don't know. Hit. Look how, hot, look how spicy I'm going there. You played yourself, Kyle. I flew too close to the cake sun. And my my fondant wings were melted. All right, you cake piece of crap. This is harder than it looks. Looking down is killing you, Kyle. No, it's slowing me down. I know. I'm trying to slow myself down so I can hit those damn platforms. Come on now. At least it's visually interesting for you, Chad, huh? A lot of moving things. Damn it. Get so much more air when I look straight up like that. Shit! Slow down and then speed up and then. Yeah. Shit! Come on! Come on! You serious? Why? At that point, that's when it does it. That's when it. That's when it. That's how it does. Who gives a fuck? Exactly. Yeah, Chad, I'm playing this on controller, by the way. Come on now. Come on now. Whoop. Come on now. Yeet. Slow down and then hit the speed and then go. See, the thing is, those those last cake sections aren't long enough. Do I even need to press forward? Let me see something. Chat, these developers knew that you'd want to play one-handed. the robot twins they made it a one-handed game if you wanted to they know what they're doing don't laugh at me oh i pressed it at the wrong time That's not gonna work. Damn it! Damn it! Chad, look how much fun I'm having.
Yes, Eileen. One hand watches the twins and one hand plays the game. I feel like I could have... I'm just gonna kill myself. I, I feel like I could have skipped one of those cakes. You know? One handed. What other gamer would attempt such a feat? That's what I'm telling you. I feel like something that I need to know was explained in the beginning of the game that I didn't pay attention to. Like that the blue part of the cake is the fastest part or something weird like that. Clumsy asshole! Exactly! The two-time, says Nick Marr. You're right, the two-time would do it. Back to back. 1993, 1994, blockbuster video game champion and true international video game superstar, superstar, superstar. Raven thinks I can do it. One-handed? Yeah, please go to cake. Go to that cake. Yeah, and so then we're gonna go off here, and then we're gonna go down there, and we're gonna slow down to hit the speed zone of the cake, and then we're gonna go that way onto that cake, and then this way onto that speed cake, and then we're gonna use this speed cake, and we're gonna yump like that, and by yumping, we're gonna go down here, and then we're gonna tilt this way here, and then we're gonna go that way. And then by doing that, we're gonna skip a couple cakes here, like this. This level sucks! Chad, if you rewind about an hour, you'll be you'll see me being like, wow, this is so fun. And then if you rewind like two seconds, you'll see what I'm currently at. Stop and go. You cake, you piece of crap.
Easy now, easy. Oh, Chumpy, do you have, you, have, uh, you have some thoughts on how to play this game? Hmm? Breaks, Kyle. It's totally fine. No. Ah! Athos, welcome with the twenty. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Athos, look, I'm not even playing the game. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking around, you know. Athos, as always, one of our most generous patrons with the 10 gifties. Thank you, Athos. What a chat. I'm not going to focus on the game. I'm just going to focus on Athos for a second. So if you don't know Athos, Athos is one of those gamers who... So you know that PlayStations used to have that problem. It was kind of like the Red Ring of Death, but sometimes the soldering in the PlayStations would go awry. Um, and so they would basically die. But what Athos has done um, is took his ah, PS3. I never thought of that. Took their PS3 and um, put it, instead of just accepting that their PlayStation died, what they did was put it in a box with a hairdryer. And they put it in the box with a hairdryer until the internal temperature of the PlayStation got hot enough to remelt the solder. And then they turned the PlayStation back on and they only tested if it turned on once, and it did. Then they went right to a GameStop, and they traded in the broken PS3 for a brand new God of War edition, all red PS3. Um, and yes, GameStop did did test it, uh, but they only tested it once, and then they traded it in. Okay, then they then they traded it in for a God of War edition um, PlayStation 3, brand new. So Athos is a pretty crafty individual. That's why they made so much money during their life that they can gift so many memberships to us now. Incredible. It's just it's just incredible. The people here at the facility. It really is. I see a problem. My dashes don't work. That's okay. I see. I actually see a problem. So my dashes don't work unless I'm holding a direction. So in those cases where I was really close and trying to dash, it wasn't dashing because I was only using one hand. So I guess I got to use two hands in case I need to dash. So I'll try that. Speaking as a current GameStop employee, I can confirm this is what we do, says Nick Necron Nate. Yeah, that was an issue. That was an issue. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Can't wait for the stream to be over. Can't wait. So I can start pounding white claws.
Song. One man's journey to defeat a stupid cake based game. Amped is now a facility gamer. I'm sure you already were one. But thank you, Amped, for joining this, uh, this madness. Gamer mode activated. Gamer, gamer, gamer mode activated, activated, activated. Here we go. Here we go. Easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Here we go. 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 Watch this. Here we go. Oh, watch this. <laughs> gamer mode. G -g 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 gamer mode. Mode, mode. Amped, gifting 20 memberships. I can't even focus, Amped, I'm gonna die. Damn it, Amped. Thank you again for the 20 gifted memberships. Between Amped and Athos, whew, what a community. What a little community that likes to watch me attempt to science a quantum mechanics goo-based wife gingerbread candy game while having extreme difficulties with this stupid ass slide. Not that ass slides are stupid, I mean like this stupid slide is ass. I enjoy an ass slide, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> Woo! Gamer mode! Look at all the new members. Welcome. Ooh, you thought I was gonna hit that, didn't you? Dude, climb! No! You climb. I'm good enough. I matter. I energy. Come on, you piece of crap cake. Cake. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Nichaya! Child. 
Got you in the chain. Don't quit on me now, bro. You don't want me to quit you? Don't you do it, you little piece of shit. <laughs> I was reading chat. Here we go. This is going to be the one, guys. This is it. It's just how this how this works is not very intuitive. Like, I don't know when I'm going to speed up, when I'm going to slow down, how far I'm going to go. It just, it's just, it all feels super variable. You know? We're... You know? Uh oh. That was a fast one. I think I gotta, like, slow myself. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hmm. Interesting. I hit the f Yeah, I'll just stand here. Chris Riley with the 20. Thanks for being tenacious. You don't need to do that. Chris! Huh. I never thought of that. Billy 3000, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Get out of my way. Going pretty fast now. I may have to cut. Did I discover the code for speed? The speed code. Have I discovered the code for speed? Possibly. 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 I lost my faith in you about 50 deaths ago, says Moist Steve. Well, then get the hell out of the channel. Huh? The speed is real. Look at this, look at the speed with which, with which I move. We stopped at 20 science times. Af 
after this madness consumed me. Look at this speed. Look at this, look at this speed. The speed with which I move. Incredible. I think I can slow down but keep that speed boost. I think. Look at the speed with which I move. Incredible. The speed with which I move. Incredible. Incredible. Incredible! Incredible! Incredible speed with which I move! That was easy. All you doubters in the ch who said it? Moist Steve said I lost my faith in you 50 deaths ago. Get him out. Bring him in, sit him down, stand him up, get him the hell out. Get him out. Chompy, time him out. Get him out of here. Get him out. Don't need him. Don't need him. Don't need him. Don't want him. Get him out. Don't need him. Don't want him. Get him out of my chat. Get him out. Now, chat, all we have to do is realize that we're only a third of the way through this level <laughs> and continue on. The cream, always the cream, always races to the top of the crop. Because I am the cream and I am now stuck in place. I am, I, um, um, I, I may have, um, I may, uh, have, um... I may have, um... What time is it? You better not do it. You better not do it. You better not do it. Don't, don't you, don't you dare send me back. Don't you dare send me back to the beginning of that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Thank you. See, it's it's bullcrap because I broke the sequence and I landed here, Chad. Remember? That's where I landed, right? Oh, I guess I can't go there. All right, you're all right. I'm wrong. I'm stupid. Oh yeah, green. One balance off, balance don't matter. Here we go, Chad. <laughs> we are a third of the way through. Somehow my percentage went backwards. Why is that? Oh well, here we go. I'm the green, baby. Whoa, creamy. I should have skipped that, but I want my apples. Hungry for apples? Where am I going? Follow. Los Palm de Terres. You know, um, that's a wiener. Um, did you know that in French, uh, pineapples, the word for pineapples is translated from dirt apple, palm de terre. They just call pineapples dirt apples. Stupid French. I think I'm going backwards. Uh, I'm going backwards on me. Sequence break on me? Ooh, I bet I could get all the way down there. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm gonna try this. Oh, come on, let me do it. Oh, it's potato? Oh. Yeah, potatoes are dirt apples, though, if you think about it. Everyone shut up. I'm a scientist, not a language man. Here we go. 
Oh, okay, it's not gonna let me do it. There's a kill plane there. I'm not a linguist, chat. In case you didn't know. Sequence break. So fast! So fast! And how furious? Wiener furious! Damn it! It's gonna be hard to get through those wieners. difficult to get through all these wings, Chad. Oh, or is it? Woo! Backside. Oh, I'm going upside down? No. What? Oh, my brain. My poor brain. First try, baby. Woo! Eat my dirt apples, Chad. Oh, boss time. Can this... Yeah, okay. I'd hoped Comrade Gingerbread Man was finished. <laughs> Forget about him. Can I just skip Comrade Jim well, Gingerbread Man? Like he remembers me. Bye, Gingerbread Man. Oh, I have to fight. I have to face Comrade Gingerbread Man. Here we go. Here we go. Comrade Gingerbread Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take these little mustachioed babies. <laughs> I don't want them. They're gross. Just like real babies. Oh crap. Oh, we can do that now. That's bad. Come here. We are ginger babies. Now he's mad. Uh-oh, there's a lot of these guys. Don't eat me. I'll sing you a song about your death. Safe. Remember what I said about the dialogue? Being gosh damn awful. That's not, I said switch weapon. Stop shoving already. <laughs> Stop shoving already. Holy crap. <laughs> they scraped some flour. You. And after me, we'll have to scrape you off the floor. <laughs> Nail, you got him. Looks like I struck a nerve. Cooperative, buddy. We could have done this without the beating. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, you little weirdo. Hey, damn it. Uh oh, that's good. Come here. Oh, ho, ho, you little ginger idiot. Damn it. This is going to take forever. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, my body. This is going to take forever. Come here. Come on, just hit him! Holy crap! Oh, 
Get him, you punk! I'm about to die! At least the music's off. Awesome. Hit the little weirdos! Oh my god! Switch weapons. Oh, I messed up an upcheck. Get out of my face. Ah, he moves so slow. That's nothing. Oh, thank God he says the same amount of No. Do better, says Dave Breen. Thanks, buddy. Super helpful. Switch weapons when I tell you to switch weapons or I'm going to eat your face.
switch weapons or I'm gonna eat your face with a side of face. Switch it! Gosh, chat. <laughs> wow. What an experience that is. <laughs> the cream. Chat, I was worried a number of times about that. Chat, like the last DLC, it is three things weird. Harder than I thought it was going to be, and longer than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. Giggity. Chad, how is everyone doing so far? We did 20 science times at the beginning of the stream, and then basically we just devolved into me attempt throwing my head against some very difficult platforming. And there's more to go. Excited for more. That is true, Chad. If you like today's stream, please, please, please consider liking today's stream. There will be more Atomic Heart. Um... And there's a couple other games that we're gonna play this year for sure. Uh, Aria happens to be friends with none other than Sam Witwer, and one of my favorite games, and what I would say is the best zombie game ever made, Days Gone. I would like to get Sam Witwer on the stream to talk about Days Gone as we play it, go all out for that, have him on, have the Kevins work for everything, uh, work on everything. Days Gone, we're gonna play Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. We're going to play Doom and Doom, Doom Eternal. We are going to play Arkham Knight for sure. So that was Atomic Heart. No, this is the DLC. It is much, much different. Um, but Chad, where are we? Yeah, Maul Whitworth, in indeed. I just finished 100%ing uh, Days Gone Bundle Bundle. Um, so I know it, it, it can give us a lot of sweet, sweet content. I would like any stream where Kyle puts his sanity on the line for science as DR Lifter. Well, if you want to see me put my educational chops on the line, become a member here at the facility. You can see the next Half-Life Histories early. It's going to go up on YouTube tomorrow, I think. Let me check with one of my Kevins. I think I, notification, I got a notification. Yep, it'll go up first thing tomorrow morning. Um, and if you're part of the stream, if you're part of the facility, you can vote on titles, thumbnails. You can ping me at any time of day, suggest episodes. We get monthly only live, monthly private live streams with me where I may or may not take my shirt off. I want to thank everyone for being here tonight, taking time out of your precious, precious weekend. Um... And make sure you go, if you want more live streaming, check out our last live stream on the main channel where we tried a little Scientist Reacts content. It was an experiment for me. I'm not really sold on actually how it did. Um, so if you want more live streaming right now, go check it out. Thanks again to Captain Dagon for making today's thumbnail and giving me something to um, look at while I play this game one-handed. Um, thanks to everyone for being so generous today, especially uh, Amped and Athos Kronos for so many uh, additional members of the gamer facility, gaming wing of the facility. I didn't think you get this enough, but you're really good at gaming, says Devum. Thank you. Chad, I, have a, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening or a wonderful rest of your morning. If you're from some other part where the, um, where the moon is upside down, if you want to see Atomic Heart in, in its entirety and get an actual sense of what this weird retro future Soviet alternate dystopia is like, 
There's an entire playlist on the main channel where this video will go. You can check it all out. You can check out all the mommy stomping action. Um, after this, it depends on what we have next, but maybe we'll return to Doom. Maybe Aria will be back. Chat, we have a lot of content coming because if you're not making content, what is even your life? Have a wonderful rest of the time that you are conscious today. No matter where I see you next time, until then, be nice to each other, because this is all we got. Rock out, my nerds.